This is the Microtech Amphibian. This knife I credit with re-interesting me in folding modern locking tactical knives. Um, it rested me out of a slip joint phase that was already starting to pass. You know, I go through phases over and over, collecting phases where I'm really into one thing and then I'm into something else. Uh, for me, fixed blade knives and folding tactical knives are the bedrock of my collection and my interests. But I always, uh, I frequently, periodically veer down paths with slip joints, swords, and other stuff. Uh, but I always come back home to tactical folders, and this is the one that did it. Uh, it is a beauty, and man, I, I was so thrilled to see that it was within reach. It's an expensive knife, but worth saving up for. It's not as expensive as some of the knives in my collection that I bought more cavalierly in my... Uh, in, in my earlier days, but uh, this one, um, I don't know, it was just a real joy to save up for and know that uh, I didn't have to wait long for it because it was already um, out and they've been putting these out in greater numbers. Okay, so what is this? This is a four and a half, uh, I'm sorry, this is a four inch blade of M390 MK. You can see right there, that's their, that's Microtech's proprietary M390. I'm not sure what they do to tweak it. This one has the apocalyptic finish on the bevels, which is really cool. It's like a dark stone wash, acid stone wash. <clears throat> and then the flat there, which is very pretty minimal, is uh, has a satin, grinder satin. And then we have this really cool terraced UFO shaped um, thumb stud. And uh, I've said this before, if you've seen this show, if you've seen this knife on Thursday Night Knives, I've mentioned that I am not a big fan of oddly shaped thumb studs, but this one here uh, not only works great, it just really does, especially with a slow roll, um, a place where some thumb studs come up short, uh, works really great, and I think it looks really good. Um, what I don't like about irregularly shaped thumb studs is totally superf superficial, it's a looks thing, um, but I like the Null Knives triangular thumb stud, and I love this. This is so cool. So there are exceptions to my uh, to my rules. All right, uh, back to the blade. Um, now, I originally um, was looking for non-serrated. That is my, um, <clears throat> that's my default. And then um, I saw a video, uh, <laughs> and in this video, it was a destruction test of a Microtech SOCOM, um, and in it, uh, the guy, uh, D-Ring, I think is his name, um, uses his 20-year-old uh, SOCOM with, with unsharpened, with uh, serrations he had never sharpened, and just zips through rope, where the um, the, the plain-edged SOCOM takes, takes a little bit of sawing, and that, it just sort of reminded me, yeah, I, I like serrations, especially on tactical knives, uh, because my imagination tells me that I might need them. Um, but also, they're uh, on Microtex, they're just so cool. <laughs> they're just really great. It's a great serration pattern. And I have it on, on this Troodon. And I love it. And then I have it on this uh, Ultratech, too. Uh, Ultratech as well. And I really like that. So I, I, I dig their uh, serration patterns. Um, and when I saw that this was available, I... I got it, and um, it comes in G10 or it comes in aluminum, and the and the cost is the same. This fluted G10 or aluminum uh, has these nice well, they're it's fluted, so it's got nice long uh, rows scooped out of the handle, and then here they go in opposing an opposing direction here for the finger, and it's really grippy and comfortable, grippy but uh, not grippy like aggressively so. It just, it's just going to stay locked in your hand, and it has a very positive grip. The ergonomics of the handle, which is about five and a quarter, so overall it's about nine and a quarter inches. Ergonomics on this handle are outstanding, uh, really excellent in this saber grip. Great place for your thumb that's nice and jimped. And then you've got a guard, not too much of a guard, but a finger, uh, finger well here, and a nice scoop that not only aids you in um, getting to that thumb stud when you're opening it, but just channels your finger in the perfect way in this saber grip here. 
then you've got a nice extended uh, pommel here and the jimping really buries itself in your in your hand it's a very secure grip and then it's got some jimping uh just west of the pivot here uh on the down slope which i love they have that they also feature that in the socom elite I mentioned a, a lot about how I love that downslope jimping on the front of the blade. Well, they have it here, and I think it's best represented here because you have like a uh, curved swale there for your thumb to land in, and then just right there in that sweet spot, you got those three jimps. And so if you want to come up here for a uh, Filipino grip with the thumb, with the powering on the back of the blade, you've got an awesome spot for that. And then look at how that recurve works in that in that grip really uh, presents that blade at an aggressive angle to whatever you're cutting and uh, you're going to get awesome cutting kind of performance out of it uh, so far fortunately unfortunately fortunately i've only opened up boxes with this um, and that's all i ever hope to open with this or you know uh, i'd be great to do other work with it haven't that hasn't come up yet i have no doubt that this will handle whatever I need it to. But you know me, uh, I don't use my knives that much because I don't really have a, a lifestyle that requires it. So when I do um, take a knife out to bang around in outside, it's usually not uh, usually not something sweet like this. It's usually a cold steel or something that I've already thrashed on. And uh, But I should, I should use them more in that way, but I just, hey, it's my collection. I can do what I want. I love I love the way this fits in hand, man. It really gives you, it's a big knife, but it doesn't feel big. It's kind of, uh, it's like the, let's see, it's like this. This is a big knife, the MK Ultra. It's a big knife. It doesn't feel big. It carries small and it's thin and it's the same thing as this. This one's a little bit larger as you can see, but, but like the Amphibian, it carries really lightly. All right, so let's talk about the Ramlock. So this is one of the first, three models from Microtech featuring their ram lock. At first blush, it resembles an access, lo access lock. You get an access lock um, where you pull back on the, on the tabs on the side and it moves a bar that is engaged with the tang out of the way and then it can move. Um, but this, the access lock and the able lock that's fr uh, from Hogue, and then all of the, most of these crossbar locks like this uh, feature Omega springs. So springs that are shaped like Omegas uh, housed in the handle here. They're a pain in the ass to work on. Um, and frequently, uh, that's my own uh, estimation anyway. And then frequently you'll you hear people talk about how they, how they fail and you have to replace those Omega springs because they're thin and just one arc. Well, here... You have a similar um, interface here where you're grabbing these tabs and pulling them back to disengage the lock. Uh, but instead of Omega Springs on the side, it's one coil spring in the center uh, around a bar, around a, um, yeah, around a, a, a bar that goes into the back of this block here. And the block is what engages the back of the tang and fits right over that. So really great, fantastic action, uh, strong. I've done the, the spine whack on this, and then I have another able lock, which I'm going to do a video on, uh, on the stitch. And I've done spine wax with both of them. Um, I don't, I, not like uh, this guy D ring where he's smashing it against the bumper of a of a four by four, but just like, uh, just you know, spine whacking it on the table. They've done fine. I, I sometimes. These sort of locks tend to fail. I mean, crossbar locks or and button locks, but uh, this is super, super sturdy. I don't know why I even did it, just to prove that it that it could do it. All right, anyway, nice handle with the fluted G10. Really nice sculpted titanium pocket clip with jimping on it. I love this pocket clip. I don't need deep carry. I wish this was on the stitch or something like this, um, but I love the jimping. Really, obviously, aids in in extracting it from your pocket. But even if you don't use that jimping, because if you use that jimping by by its very nature, you're sort of pinching this and making it more difficult to pull out. <clears throat> you can always tug on these screws, which sit very, very proud. Um, I like them on this one because 
you don't have anything in the path of the pocket clip. You don't have those giant screws under there. So I don't mind those giant screws. I like this uh, filler tab, uh, looks nice. And then this, I love jimping. I'm always talking about jimping going over the pommel for the thumb, for that positive grip. Well, this has it in spades and uh, that, that reverse grip is, is really, feels very, very secure. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of capping the pommel with the thumb especially if you have a way to arc over and kind of gives it this pulling, pulling feel backward. Um, and then if you have the jimping there, it's really, it connects nicely. Um, yeah, uh, let me show this with a couple of other uh, Microtechs. Here it is with the SOCOM Elite uh, Automatic. Big knives, I like them. They don't shy away from the big knives. Um, and then Ultratech. So it's much bigger than that Ultratech. And, oh, one, one knife important to show this with. Um, the knife that basically my very first high-end folding knife. This is a year 2000 Emerson Commander. And um, when I got the Amphibian, I sort of had this revelation that um, in coming back to tactical folding knives, like a renewed interest in um, seeking out new tactical folding knives. And I end up back where I started with that sort of very similar profile, that recurve blade, hearkening back to Filipino swords and the kukri, that kind of thing. And just that wicked accelerated cutting you get from that. And also, um, you know, just the super sturdy stoutness of the build of a Microtech. 20, Torx, you know, T20s. T8s on the hardware all over, um, just built so solidly. I'm a huge fan of this knife, the Amphibian. I've been carrying it like mad. And this is one of those knives that you get and you're like, okay, I can get rid of a whole bunch of knives now that I have this. Of course, I haven't done that yet, but and that will fade. But this is one of those knives that uh, can really hog the spotlight for me. All right, thanks for watching.